Hey guys, Steve at Muse Themes here. We have a new Vimeo gallery widget ready to go. And what this does is allows you to embed a Vimeo gallery, either from a channel or a user ID, right into your web page. And from there, you can just simply mouse over and click on a video, and the video comes up in this really nice kind of stylish animated transition. Uh, as you can see, it's in a light box here, and we can even go so far as to kind of customize this player. So we can change the player control colors, we can change the border color, we can change the size of the video. So what this does is it allows you to save yourself the hassle of embedding every single individual video. Um, if you've embedded a client's channel, for example, on their site on here, when your client updates their own videos on Vimeo, the gallery is going to update it well. So it's a great way to embed a ton of video in a page. We have the same widget for YouTube or very similar, and it's always been really popular. So I'm, I'm super excited to release the Vimeo Gallery 1. So let's go ahead and jump into Muse. The panel on this one is lengthy, and I'll show you how to build it. So let's just go to a new site. As always, I'll drag the widget out onto the page and let's see how it looks. Okay, so now that the widget's out, let me just zoom out a little bit. I'll go to 88%, oops, not 8%, 88%. And let's have a look at the panel on this widget. Starting from the top down, you can see that we have the input area for the user or the channel name that we want to use. So in this case, we have it set to a user and then we have the name or ID as Apple site. And you can see that the ID here is kind of long and lengthy. If we click the drop down here, we could change this to be a channel, a group, or an album. So let's go on to Vimeo real quick and let's grab a different channel ID and see how that looks. So I'm just gonna jump onto Vimeo. Now that we're here, let's just search for Muse themes. We do have a small selection of videos up on Vimeo and here's our responsive tutorial. And let's just go to our actual channel. So it's the musethemes.com channel. Now to navigate to this actual channel in our widget, all we need to do is simply type in what we have up here for our URL. So let's go back to the widget and let's paste that in. It was just Muse themes and hit okay. And let's just preview this in the browser to make sure it looks right. Okay, so there you go. As you can see, these are all the Muse themes videos that are up on Vimeo right now. The channel ID can be a little bit confusing sometimes because if you have a name that is very common, you might end up with a numbered string afterwards. Muse Themes is quite simple because we were the first people to snag that channel. So once you've put in your input area there, let's move down here and we have the thumbnail settings. So this is where we're controlling how many thumbnails are showing up on the or on the page. So we have the number of videos here. You can go up to a maximum of 60. That's a limitation in the Vimeo API. So let's just go ahead and choose 12. Now we can set the thumbnail width and the thumbnail height. You can set this to anything you want, but be careful not to skew or distort your thumbnails. We need to keep a similar ratio. So in this case, let's just go up to 300 and we'll go 200 high. Okay, now we have the thumbnail overlay color. That's just the color that's going to appear when you mouse over any of the boxes. So right now it's set to black and the overlay opacity is set at 80%. Let's just drop the overlay opacity down a little bit to 50% for now. Okay, now we have our font. So as you always, just type the name of the font in there and be sure that you're actually using the correct name that it needs in the CSS. So I'm gonna change that to Montserrat. I'm gonna drop the size down to 11 pixels and I'm gonna leave the font color set at white. Okay, let's just have a quick look at how that's looking. Okay, so now you can see in this example, we have only two columns of our videos. And that's because we set the thumbnail size much bigger this time. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that we actually drag the frame, which is this area here in Muse, out big enough that we can support or fit three columns on our page. Okay, let's go ahead and preview that again and see if that's big enough. Yep, that's perfect. So now we have three columns spanning the page. And as you can see, our font color is different. It's using Montserrat and it's a little bit smaller. 
So let's take a look at the next set of options that we have here. We can change the light box and video sizes. So let's change the video player size. This is what the actual play box is going to be sized at when it launches in the light box. So right now we have 800 by 435. What if we wanted to go up to, let's say something big, 1000 pixels by 600 pixels. Okay, now we have the video player border color. We're just using white for this and using a very thick border. But if you didn't want to do that, you could change this. Let's just go ahead and change this to orange. And let's drop the size down to five. Now we also have the video player control color. So you may have noticed when I demoed this originally, when you mouse over the play button, it changes color. And this is how you can kind of just add a little extra branded element there. So let's just go ahead and change this to blue. Okay, and now we have the light box close button size, the close button color, and the close button background color. Let's preview this in the browser and we'll have a look at how the close button looks as is. So if I click on one of these videos, of course it comes up in that transition. We have this border, which is maybe a little bit strong. I'm not a huge fan of that, but you can see that it works nicely. We've also changed the video size here, so it's much bigger. And now you can see the close button up here. We have this small icon in the center and we have a background color behind it, which right now is set to gray. So I'll probably just leave that as is. Now one other thing, let's mouse over the player control color. So you can see that it's still orange, even though I set this to blue. And I thought this was a bug in the widget when I first started using it. But what happens here is on a user channel in Vimeo, you have the option to set on the Vimeo side the color that you want your play button if anyone embeds your video. So the, what's happening here is if somebody has set that color on their Vimeo settings, you cannot override it using this widget. So for Muse themes, I had set it to orange. I cannot override it to that blue. On any other channel that hasn't preset that, you can change it to any color you want. Okay, so now let's look at the last few options, the checkboxes here on the widget. You can see we have autoplay video. What that will do is when we click on one of these thumbnails, it will play right away. So let's turn that on. We can turn on display video title and display user profile photo. And those actually appear in the top left corner of the video. So let's turn those on as well. Now we have enable video looping, which will of course replay the video afterwards or after it's finished playing. You may or may not want that. I'm gonna leave that off for now. And you have enable user byline. The byline is just a very small line that says from this user and it appears in the top left. Because we have the video title and the user profile photo added, let's leave the byline off. So let's go ahead and play this again and let's see how those look. So I'll click on a video here. It obviously auto plays and because that we don't see the actual static thumbnail preview of this video, we're not seeing our profile photo and our user information up top. Now let's go ahead and just turn off autoplay video and we'll preview this again. And now when I click on one of these, you'll see that we actually have a static thumbnail. And up at the top, we can see our profile photo and we can see the name of the video, Adobe Muse Tech Tips. So there are a few options on this for you to get exactly what you want, but I do think this is an amazing and powerful widget and we did refine it heavily to make sure it worked really well for you. Another thing that you can do with this beyond the panel is you can actually s expand this box to be 100% width. So if you actually just drag it out and kind of snap it to the left and right sides of the browser, then you get a full 100% width box. And I'm gonna up the number of videos to let's say 30 so that it's a little bit more full. Now keep in mind, as with all our widgets or any Muse widget in general, you don't really get much in terms of a preview here on the actual Muse page. So you do need to preview in the browser to see what's going on. So there, now that I've previewed this, you can see that our gallery is nicely spanning the full width. You can adjust your thumbnail size if you wanna kind of close these left and right gaps and you can make them fit a little bit more evenly, but keep in mind as screen resolutions change, you may still end up with the gap on either side. So this widget is actually responsive as well. It will keep stacking and reducing if you have it set to that 100% width so that you can change the number of videos per column. So that's it. That's the Vimeo Video Gallery widget. I think this is going to be great and highly popular and used widget. However, let us know if you have any questions or concerns. Thanks again and cheers.